question, ma'am? No, I just, is it clear who the shooter was? And yes. if so, how is that clear? Because for... we have witnesses. Okay. The victim knows who the shooter was. The victim told us so who the shooter was. So he reported that to you. Yes. He at least communicated that. Yes. At the hospital, when he was in fear of losing his life, he was much more free with information. Okay. Now that he's on the road to recovery, he doesn't seem as he is quite as forthcoming with uh, communicating with us. Okay. That's where the water board is. No. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions no. before I turn it over to our mayor? Yes, yes ma'am. One question I think we'll maybe talk about later in some brainstorming is um, we've been interested in knowing if there are other ways we can get through to some of the police data, which we talked about before, sure. um, some of the more updated things that are on that actually feed into this system, which is different than the citizen observer. Mm -hmm. So that's just something we'd like to keep percolating in there, think about how we could get some of the non-sensitive data in some of the fields as they're able to be shared, which we've had a few, we have a few techie people here that would be interested. <laughs> yeah, that would be interested in working with LPD on some of those issues to see how we Twitter? can. I tweet. He tweets. Okay, he tweets. <laughs> and we need to learn how to tweet. Which I mentioned too that we have uh, one of our. Only with here. Terry, right? <laughs> My, well, yes. There's a question here. The definition of tweet. Yes, I can. How many people were back here at that point in time? Were most of these people over the age? We were not all over the age of 21. Okay. Um, and how many people were actually here right. when the incident occurred? I know there was at least one witness. I think when the incident occurred, there was a lot of partying of the sea. Okay. This was after 10 o'clock. Yeah, we got the call at 10, almost 10 30, 10 25. Okay. They were back here playing. Stay on deck. Uh, I just want to say, and really, Teresa said most, of, Captain Smansky said most of what I wanted to say, which is thank you for your, your participation. Uh, you, this is what makes a community safe. I mean, we have a wonderful police department, and Jason is representative of that, and Captain Smansky is. Great professionals. Obviously, they're not going to be everywhere at just the right time. You, you may be. And uh, we don't want you to be in the wrong place at the wrong time, but by observing and calling, be in the right place, and, and it's this type, type of involvement and embracing uh, your community, your neighborhood, that's what's going to keep it safe, and that's what we see, that's what the crime statistics reflect. When you have active, involved neighbors, it makes a huge difference, so thank you for helping. Now, my, my role is to make sure these professionals have the tools they need. Uh, we recently, you might have heard about the new police cars. Uh, Emma has a flyer that talks about the new police cars uh, that we planned for, uh, that we budgeted for. And uh, they've got new tools in those to help make some of the stuff Jason was talking about a little easier, to make sure the computers are working, to put uh, cameras on the front and the back uh, that help to uh, help to get a prosecution, perhaps, uh, that help to track down uh, people, uh, uh, perpetrators, and so on. So uh, we do everything we can to make sure they have the tools. As you know, uh, I'm not going to give you a campaign speech, but it also involves uh, making sure we have enough police on the road We've added police officers at a time when, when budgets are being cut. We've, uh, we've downsized city government by about 20% in non-uniform personnel, but we've added police officers. We've lost no police officers, no firefighters, at a time when the rest of city government is shrinking. And it's hard, and the people left behind are doing the work. Uh, but uh, we've maintained the strength of our police and fire department. Public safety is job one. Uh, and I want your input on that. Emma also has a sheet, I'm sure you've seen it before, of important city numbers. My number's at the top of that, because if you can't get through, if you're having a hard time being heard, uh, call me. I need to know what's happening. I need to know if you're not getting the right service. I know these folks try hard. There may be times when they can't, or another department, somehow you're not getting through the bureaucracy. Feel free to call my office. You can call me, you can text me. Uh, and you can talk to me. If you call my office and say, I need to talk to the mayor, the mayor will call you back. So uh, I thank you again for your involvement. I'm sorry to have to dash out. Uh, Murdoch will be here 
uh, Captain Szymanski and Officer Bach and uh, Emma Koppelman from my office. 